Hello, and you are back in the Velvet Room with Joke of the Fool. This is our 95th episode, and today we'll be discussing loneliness and how to deal with it. So, loneliness is something I have a lot of experience with, I'd say, for most, if not all, of my adult life. I've been lonely to some degree, and this is not a, a sob story, woe is me sort of thing. It's just to say that I've fought through what loneliness is, uh, conceptualized it really well, and so, you know, first things with, you know, if you're going to deal with anything, you need to know what it is. A lot of people have this misconception of loneliness as just being the state where you're not interacting with anybody, you have nobody to talk to. And that's true to some degree, but what loneliness really is, is a lack of quality human interaction to the point where you feel you don't have to the point where you feel it's a, a lacking part of your life. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have nobody in your life because you could be married, you could have friends, but your marriage is more like a, more like a roommate relationship. Um, the friends you just get together once a week, uh, drink beers, and you just have a small talk that's not satisfying at all. All your coworkers are very you know cordial relationships as well. So you have all this human interaction, but none of it is to the quality that makes you feel satisfied socially and therefore you're going to feel lonely right so that's the that's the first thing with loneliness is that it's the quality human interaction that you need to have to not feel lonely and if you don't have that then you're going to feel lonely and that doesn't mean that you're not talking to anybody for you know a lot of people that is the case you know a lot of people don't have friends a lot of people don't have never been in relationships prime example and that's where my loneliness personally comes is that you know i'm a loner i isolate myself a lot but i'm human i have this innate desire to pair a bond i have this desire to have social connections on some level even though it's a lot less than someone who would be extroverted it's still there and since i don't have that that's why i feel lonely of course, the busier I keep myself, the other things I focus on, the less I feel the need to interact with other people. But again, uh, if you have this innate desire to pair a bond and it's not being satisfied, you don't have that romantic relationship, then you're going to feel lonely as a result of that. And if you do have a romantic relationship, but it's not satisfying, there's no physical intimacy, there's no um, other forms of intimacy that don't have to deal with just uh, getting it on, then you're not going to feel satisfied with that interaction. And therefore, you're going to feel loneliness because of it. And, you know, on the flip side, you could have a, you know, a really nice romantic relationship. You have a great marriage. You have a great um, significant a partnership relationship with your significant other, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. whatever. Um, but you don't have any friends because you just moved or whatever the case may be. And you feel lonely because of that. So that's really the result is that that's really what you need to understand what loneliness is, is this lack of quality human interaction to in your life to the degree where you feel that it's lacking and when you feel that um lack that lack of quality human interaction that's where the loneliness stems from and really the resolution is to either um accept the level of human interaction that you have at this moment and uh do other things or to go out and have more quality human interactions and again this is going to be a bit different for you know with but with what your level of interacting with other people is, right? If, you know, your friends are, you know, if your interaction with your friends and you have friends and they're stagnant and you feel like they're going nowhere, then, you know, you might want to spice things up instead of going to the bar on Fridays nights, right? Go hiking Saturday morning or something like that. And it's a different interaction. There's more chances that you'll have um, interactions and a social experience that you actually want to have. But that's really... You know, if you have people in your life, of course, if you're romantic, your intimate relationship is lacking, um, then either you have to cut it off or you need to work on that relationship to bring it up to the point where you feel like uh, it's giving you what you need in order to feel satisfied intimately in that relationship. Uh, and of course, if you don't have that relationship and you feel lonely because of that, then you would go and need to go out and find that. But if you don't have anybody, complete lone or completely isolated uh, and you feel desperately lonely then what you need to do is you need to start going out and interacting with people face to face so going outside going to the park and talking to some old lady for a couple of minutes is going to make you feel less lonely because you had a quality human interaction right and that's really the thing that you need to start doing and of course with anything it's a skill so the more people you talk to the better you'll get at talking to people the less um, scared you'll feel to be you know to, to approach people to be around people especially if you have social anxiety which is a much more common thing these days with 
all these sorts of factors, especially since we had this period in time where, you know, we had to shutter ourselves from human society for a good couple of years because of that pandemic, and that's really stunted a lot of people socially. Uh, and the next generation is going to be even more socially stunted than this current one is. So there's a lot of issues to deal with. There's a lot of people who are going to feel lonely. But the, the biggest thing, like I said, with loneliness is, one, accepting that you're lonely. That's, that's a big thing that took me a while to accept that I was lonely, especially if you're a loner type that doesn't need, you know, if you're very introverted like myself and you don't need that much interaction, then of course the uh, default is like, well, I don't need people, I don't need to talk to people, but you most likely do on some level, so there's going to be some level of interaction that you need, uh, it, although... Again, I'm not the best example of this because, like, I want to move in the woods, interact with people twice a month. But even then, I'll acknowledge that if I ever do get to that point, it's not it's going to have its downsides, right? Because humans are social creatures. We, we are built on the social interaction. That's how we built our tribes and then our societies is through these social interactions. So if you don't have those social interactions happening in, or if you do have these social interactions happening and none of them are meaningful or quality in your life, then you're going to feel lonely. So loneliness is really dependent on your uh, on your perception of the social interactions that you have, um, if, if you are having them, and if you perceive them to be worthwhile to you. And of course, if you don't have any social interactions with people, uh, you don't have any friends, you don't have a lover, and you want those um, you know, relationships, and you don't have them, then you're going to feel lonely as a result of that. But loneliness isn't just not having any friends or not having a partner, right? That's that's really what uh, you need to get away from. And if you think like, oh, if I just make a couple of friends, like, oh, if I can just get like a couple Tinder dates, uh, then I'll stop feeling lonely. You're not because none of those interactions are going to be meaningful. They're not going to be quality. They're not going to imbue you with any sort of meaningful structure um, in your life. You're, you're just going to have some people that you chat with um, a couple times a week, uh, and then you're just um, back to feeling lonely. So that, that's really the thing. So the more you focus on having quality social interactions, that you're interacting with people that you care about, they care about you, then you're going to feel less lonely. And that's really the only way is that you need to have quality social interactions that are meaningful to you and meaningful to the person that you're interacting with, right? So it's not just, um, you know, the fact that you go up to, you know, someone and you're purely getting something from them. They're getting something from you as well. So they're, the enrichment that happens socially is happening in both directions. And that's really the necessary thing. That's the only way you're going to not feel lonely. You need to have other people in your life that you're interacting with. And those interactions need to be meaningful to both parties involved. That's really the main thing there. And of course, the amount of interaction you need in order to feel, um, in order to not feel lonely, is going to vary from person to person. Someone who's extroverted needs all these friends, needs to have, you know, constant attention from their partner, needs to be, you know, hanging out with someone every um every day but someone who's introverted someone more like me you know maybe i could have one friend and have you know a girl a girlfriend we only need to you know cuddle once a week and that's all i need it's going to vary from person to person but what's going to be consistent is like i like i said is that you will feel lonely if you don't have quality social interactions in your life and you're not having them consistently uh and when you realize that um, whether subconsciously or consciously, then you're going to feel lonely. And then again, accepting that you that the social interactions going on in your life is not um, enough for you to make you feel not lonely um, is the first step. And then, of course, addressing um, addressing that is either going to be you aren't interacting with anybody, in which case you know you go out and you start interacting with people, or the interactions, the social relationships that you have. Um, aren't giving you these quality social interactions that you need to not feel lonely and you need to address that. If you have friends that you um, aren't interested um, with, you aren't really um, connecting with, you need to get new friends. Uh, relationships similar, of course, if you're in a marriage, I'm not going to go out and say get divorced if you know, you're know you having you know a hard spot in your marriage and it's not abusive, it's not um, you know like there's no egregious wrongdoing doing going on, you know, surely... Uh, I would rather you address the issues in, in a marriage or something like that. But, you know, if you have like a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you've been dating for six months and it's getting stagnant um, to the point where you feel like it's absolutely worthless to interact with this person, you're probably best off dumping them and trying to find um, someone else who would be able to give you that intimacy you would need to not feel lonely. So, again, 
what you have to do in order to get to the point where the social interactions are quality enough to make you not feel lonely is going to be different for every person. But, you know, I, I would say that's the beauty of uh, the human experience. But uh, with that, I think I've rambled on about loneliness long enough. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, leave a comment, like, like and subscribe, share all that good stuff. And Joker is out. Thank you for being in the Velvet Room with Joker the Fool. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe whether you're listening on YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, or Substack. And be sure to subscribe to my Substack, velvetroompublishing.substack.com to keep up with Machine to Man and all my other projects.